Shutter has came through with a new screener with a new film called Quick Scene, a thriller film that will be coming to the streaming service on July 14th. But the biggest question, should you be investing your time in checking this film out? Well, let's just talk about it. Quicksand follows a married couple who become trapped in quicksand while hiking through a rainforest in Colombia. The film stars Andreas Castaneda, Sebastian Eslava, and Carolina Guyton, and was directed by Andreas Beltran. So with Quicksand, I didn't look up anything about this film. I only saw the poster. I didn't even read the synopsis before going into this film. I didn't watch a trailer, but after I did watch a trailer, I will say, don't watch a trailer going into this film because it completely spoils the majority of the film. The film is 85 minutes, and the story is very simple. You have this couple that is flying into Colombia and they're there for work a work conference at that and they decide they're going to go hiking in Colombia and about 20 to 25 minutes of the movie is just this whole work conference them meeting up with a friend from dinner and it jumps into the fact that this couple they actually get stuck in the jungle and they are trapped in quicksand and an hour of this movie is just them trapped in quicksand battling the forces of the forest they obviously have snakes and other animals that they are battling throughout the couple themselves I I really didn't care for either character as a lot of times they're just bickering back and forth and it's really hard to get into either character because they don't really seem like they are really with it together and the biggest struggle is they're obviously in this quicksand and they have to find a way to actually get along and actually get out of this predicament if you can really relate to that or if you're going through something like that then you can really get into both characters but when they get actually trapped in this quicksand i really didn't care what their fate was going to be because there isn't a lot of intensified moments that really make me feel like this film. It's a film that really feels exciting. It feels in parts that it has some tension that you can really build on what is actually happening in the jungle, but then there are parts where there's a lot of boring parts and not a lot is really happening. There also is another language in here and they don't do a really good job with the subtitles. In the beginning of the film, they'll have the other language that they're actually speaking and they'll have subtitles and then they'll have other parts in the film where there are no subtitles at all. So I can't understand and what actually the characters are saying. Another problem that I did notice in the film is the audio itself. It does not sync with the characters at all. Now, I don't know if that was because of the copy that I received or what was going on, but there were parts where reactions, they were delayed. There are other parts where a character would speak and the audio would be before the actual speaking of what the character is actually saying. And that really just kind of threw me off in the film and definitely took me out of the film. I will say that the shots in this film, they look really nice. There is some really good shots in the forest. There's some drone shots of the city in the beginning of the first 20 minutes of the film. But overall, I don't think this is a film that you should be rushing out to check out. And I'm really confused why this is on Shudder as well, because there really isn't, I would say, much of any horror moments in here. I think for Shudder, with the fact that they don't have a lot of programming right now on their service, I don't think that this movie is going to really make people want to purchase a subscription and want to really check this film out. There's nothing really new that this film really does. And I would say it's a film that you don't have to rush to watch. And I think it's a film that even goes a little bit below the mass scale for me because it really just gets really boring really quickly. And you have to sit here and watch these two people stuck in mud, argue, bickering, and I didn't care for the characters. So that really makes it a lot worse. Overall, there's not a lot that this film really has going on. And I really don't have much else to really say about this film. It's a film that you can just kind of take it or leave it kind of thing. Like I said, an hour of people stuck in quicksand. If that is something that you really want to watch and watch a couple actually unfold with a bunch of bickering and actually face a few little animal situations within nature, that's really all this film really is. There is a small side story that I don't really think really matters that they actually include in the film. But overall for me, this film is complete pass and I would give a score of this film a one and a half out of five. Unfortunately, it missed the mark. I was bored with it and I don't think you guys should check it out or even rush to check it out. But if it really sounds like something that you wanna check out, 
go for it. But let me know in the comments, what did you guys think about this film? If you did watch it, and if you haven't watched it, is it something that you're interested in checking out? Thank you guys for listening to this review, and I will see you guys on my next review.